Hey everyone, welcome to Mind Read. We're super glad you could join us today. We hope you're feeling good wherever you are in the world. Dogs. They're known worldwide as man's best friend, as the saying goes. And historically speaking, they've been there in books, movies, wars, for rescue missions, as show dogs, and as companions for both children and adults alike. Small or large, athletic or lazy, and some being tiny enough to fit in your handbag. Most people love dogs, and some of the most unique ones have qualities and looks you might never have imagined. So that's why we're here today. We're counting down the top 10 unique dog species in the world. So let's get started, shall we? We can't wait to show you! Number 10. This dog makes it to the 10th spot for our countdown and we're super impressed by its uniqueness. Powerful with good bones, the Tibetan Mastiff is a strong, well-built dog with a fairly long, thick double coat with undercoat and a bushy tail which curls over at the back. They're light on their feet with ingenious speed, but can appear slow and deliberate when walking. They're giant in size, as you can see. These dogs can be black, black and tan, brown, shades of gold or gray, and gray with gold markings. Some may have white on the chest and toes too. They can have tan markings on the muzzle, above the eyes, the lower part of the legs, and on the tip of the tail. The weight of the Tibetan Mastiff is between 121 to 176 pounds. What an impressive species! Number 9. You can see this dog at the ninth spot for the countdown and whoa, what a beauty! The Bergamasco is a muscular, heavy-boned herding dog with a large head and a thick tail that hangs down to the hawk and curves slightly upward at the end. The entire dog is covered with an abundant coat that forms mats. The Bergamasco is compact in its profile, but is just slightly longer than its tail. The Bergamasco's characteristic feature is its unique coat, made up of three different types of hair. The coat forms flocks, which are strands of hair weaved together, creating flat layers of felted hair or loose mats, which cover the dog's body and legs, and also protect the dog from weather and predators. The hair on the head is typically long and hangs over the eyes. Males stand at 23 and a half inches, while the females are usually 22 inches measured at the withers. Males weigh between 70 and 84 pounds, while females weigh between 57 and 71 pounds. The Bergamasco is an alert, observant, and patient dog breed with good self-control and balance. This breed is suited even as a guard dog or a companion dog. The Bergamasco establishes a very close bond with its owner. Aggressive or overly shy behavior is seen as a fault in this breed, though. Number 8. The eighth spot goes to this unique pooch who hails from Finland. The Finnish Spitz barks a lot. That's the first thing you should know about this breed, actually. The unique species was developed to bark, and that's what it does, and very well too. He or she uses many different sounds to communicate, and talking to you will be an important part of his or her life. Get this dog only if you are willing to teach him when it's okay to bark and when it's not. On the plus side, the breed makes an excellent watchdog, and will always let you know if someone is approaching the house or something out of the ordinary is going on. This intelligent and highly trainable dog responds well to positive reinforcement techniques, such as play, praise, and food rewards, but it is an independent thinker. Don't expect unquestioning obedience from him, and you won't be disappointed. Keep training sessions short and fun so he doesn't get bored. Number 7. At number 7, we have this amazing find, a breed synonymous for its unique look. The Norwegian Lundhund is a small, rectangular spitz type dog. The Lundhund has a great range of motion in its joints, allowing it to fit into and push itself from narrow passages. Dogs of this breed are able to bend their head backwards along their own spine and turn their forelegs to the side at a 90 degree horizontal angle to their body, much like human arms. They have pricked, upright ears that can be folded shut to form a near-tight seal by folding forward or backward. The Norwegian Lundhund is a polydactyl, so instead of the normal four toes per foot, the Lundhund normally has six toes, all fully formed with muscle and joints. Some specimens may have more or fewer than six toes per foot, but this is then outside the breed standard. The outer coat is very dense and rough with a softer undercoat. This rounds out our number seven spot in the countdown. Number six. At spot number six, we have this amazing and unique dog. The Pharaoh Hound has a remarkable personality, characterized by an immense joy of life. It hails from Egypt originally. Intelligent and affectionate, this doggy takes life as it comes and enjoys clowning around for his people, the owners. As with any hound, he has moments of aloofness and can be strong-willed as well. 
But mainly speaking, this is a gentle dog who gets along well with others, including children and other dogs. He loves human companionship, and will seek out affection and attention from his surroundings while still maintaining his independence. One of the dog's most endearing traits is its ability to blush. You may spot a deep rose color on the nose and ears when this breed is excited, happy, or enjoying some affection. Many owners will train their feral hounds to smile too. Since this fun-loving breed enjoys smiling so much, it isn't a hard trick to teach. The feral hound will bark to alert you to anything or anyone that seems suspicious. Unfortunately, a lot of things look suspicious to a feral hound. He'll also bark if he's left alone for too long or when he's bored, so it's best not to leave this dog alone for long periods. Number 5. Taking up the fifth spot in our category is this amazing pooch. The shaggy-looking Old English Sheepdog is a favorite in children's television shows and movies where he's usually a sociable, sometimes silly character to boot. This unique species is nicknamed Bobtail because of the dog tail, traditionally kept short to identify him as a drover, and this dog is an easygoing, fun-loving, intelligent dog. He's certainly a large dog at 60 to 100 pounds, but his lovely coat of blue, gray, and white makes him appear even larger than that. Known for his wonderful temperament, he's powerful, sturdy, and extremely hardworking. Those who know and love this unique species are familiar with their sense of humor. They can be playful and comical, although they are also guardian and protector of his or her family. Number 4 Our number 4 spot goes to this amazing and unique species. The King Charles Spaniel, also known as the English Toy Spaniel, is a small dog breed of the Spaniel type. Thought to have originated in East Asia, Toy Spaniels were first seen in Europe during the 16th century. They were made famous by their association with King Charles II of Great Britain and Ireland, reigning in 1630-1685, and have been linked with British royalty since the time of Queen Mary, who reigned from 1516-1558. This breed was even owned by Grand Duchess Anastasia Nikolaevna of Russia and was bred for companionship and their very noble look. Aww, these dogs are deliciously cute. Number 3. The third most unique dog species in the world goes to this beautiful creature. The Canadian Eskimo dog is an Arctic breed of working dog. Other names include Kimmick or Kimmit, which is the Inuit language word for dog. The Greenland dog is genetically identical to this breed, but has the Greenland origin as opposed to the Canadian one. The breed is currently threatened with extinction, with a current estimate of only 300 purebred dogs as of 2008. These were once used as the preferred method of transportation by Inuit in the Canadian Arctic, but by the 1960s, these traditional working dog teams became increasingly rare in the northern parts. The contributing factors to the breed's decline includes the increasing popularity of snowmobiles for transportation and the spread of infectious diseases related to these canines. Controversy surrounds the intentional killings of a debated number of Inuit sled dogs between 1950 and 1970 by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, as well as recent efforts to increase the breed's population. Number 2 at number two, we have this unique dog species as our best pick. But look away if you're squeamish, because this one's been decked out for Halloween, it seems. What a brilliant aesthetic arsenal they've managed to do. We just love how awesome it looks. Thanks for sending it in to us, Brian. It is so cool. But this is actually a Napoleon Mastiff, a beautiful type of dog that's well known for its big and bold looks. In fact, the Napoleon Mastiff is directly descended from the ancient Molossian and has a heritage extending back two to 4,000 years, making them one of the oldest recognizable dogs alive in modern times. The Napoleon Mastiffs of today are made in Italy. Having suffered from the deprivations of World War II, the breed was restored in Naples in 1947 thanks to the efforts of Pierre Scanzio and others who gathered Mastini from all over Italy and introduced the breed to the show ring. Napoleon Mastiffs first arrived in Australia in the late 1980s, with the first litter born on Australian shores on the 26th of November 1992 and under the Galatia prefix. At first sight, the Napoleon Mastiff often causes a feeling of awe. A true Molossian, the Napoleon Mastiff retains all the characteristics of the ancient dog. They are a massive dog with a large wrinkled head and they are powerfully built with loose abundant skin. And being heavy boned, they are immensely strong and capable of explosive power, leaping head high from the ground. They are also as fast as some sighthounds over short distances. 
We love this best pick. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1 The number 1 spot is finally here, folks! And we searched high and low to find you our take on the most unique dog species in the world. Remember, many of our favorites aren't always purebred species, so we had to dig a little bit harder for this one. Ready? Let's see. Used for rescue as early as the 17th century, the St. Bernard is still popularly known as a wonderful intelligent rescue dog. This is a very large and gentle working dog breed that originated in the Swiss Alps. Other common names for this breed are St. Bernardchen and Berhardiner. The legacy of this dog breed is recorded first in paintings and drawings in the 1600s. In the beginning of the 1700s, it was further recorded by monks dwelling in a hospice at the Great St. Bernard Pass in the Western Alps, located between Switzerland and Italy. There, a famous St. Bernard ancestor called Barry is known to have rescued somewhere between 40 and 100 people. The name of the pass became the name of these incredible dogs. The St. Bernard was definitely originally bred to rescue people, and it makes a gentle and loyal companion dog today. They are generally easygoing and friendly. They do very well with children, but they must be socialized while they're young. They make good watchdogs due to their large size and intelligence too. When selecting a St. Bernard, look for heart, skin, and joint problems and the disorder known as Wobbler Syndrome. Aww, it's so beautiful and huge too. They have an average weight of a whopping 160 pounds, give or take. Hey YouTubers, was that fun? We think so. And thanks so much for joining us today for this amazing countdown. Do you have a favorite unique breed that you'd like to mention? We'd love to hear it in the comments below. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you can stay on top of our latest videos. Until next time, stay awesome and have a great rest of your day.